What's going on boys? I'm in Advantage and welcome back to another NHL 22 video. Today we're talking power up collectibles. EA finally included an unlimited set, although it is timed where you can turn in players that are not just an 80 plus overall or a 79 and under overall player to get yourself more power up collectibles so you can upgrade these players. So I want to make a video specifically on this. Let's get right into the details. Power up collectibles are critical. As you know right now, the only way to upgrade your players is to either do the 36 players that are any gold player for one collectible, or of course you can do the 18, 80 plus overall player set for one collectible. Of course, there's another way to do it where you can upgrade a player via coins, or of course you can wait to get, what is it this month? Looks like it is 30 collectibles, used to be 36 for power up collectibles. So if you have a power up icon such as Lemieux or Gretzky, or if you have any X Factor players still on your team, these cards are getting to be extremely expensive to upgrade. And yeah, it's about time that EA did something about that. So I wanted to make this video specifically for this because I thought it was that important. When you go to the team of the season set, there's going to be the power up collectible exchange set. You can go ahead and click on this. Now there's a few different options that you have here. The first time set is going to be all prime time cards. So if we look at the option right here where you get one player that you turn in for three power up collectibles, it's going to be any 86 or above prime time player. Now, that being said, I was able to hop on here pretty early and I'm currently on Series X. Earlier they were going for about 40,000, which is extremely expensive for an 86 overall card. But if you compare that to what a normal power up collectible would cost you previously, a normal power up collectible would be right around 20,000 coins a pop. So that'd be around 60,000 coins. There's plenty that are going for underneath that. So all in all, you could probably get one even now for about 50,000 coins. I would look around the 45,000 range. This one right here is going for 47,000, hasn't been picked up yet. Anything below 45,000 is going to be a good buy. That's averaging you at 15,000 coins per power collectible, which is a steal. Before this set, that would have been a phenomenal deal. So make sure that that is what you're doing whenever you're looking to build out these sets. Now, if you have any in your collection that are either tradable or untradable, of course, the lower we go down, these are to work like many of the other sets that we've seen previously that are, of course, hey, if you have 284 overall players, you get one collectible, et cetera. So obviously, the higher overalls are gonna be more advantageous. The second version of this is the team of the week and the max overall that they're doing right now is an 86 overall. So shouldn't it be too hard to find? I was able to get some for a steal, but anything under 45,000 is great. Anything under 40,000 is phenomenal. And anything under, I'd say 35,000, then you're really just, you're, you're in a great place with that because you're saving so many coins. So if you have any power up icons or X factors, I 1000% recommend doing one of these sets you do have about three days to do it so it looks like the end of the day uh, on Monday at 5 p.m. looks like that is going to be when that gets cut off so just a fair warning wanted to make this video because I really believe it's that important if you're like me you wish EA did this a long time ago but I guess it's better late than never. That's it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. And if you love NHL 22 content, I would love to have you stick around here with me. Make sure you go ahead and click subscribe. Again, I'm in advantage and I'll see you guys next time.